Hello grade 11, so we're going to continue with identities in trigonometry and I think it'll be useful to start off with like what is an identity. An identity really is just a different form of the same fact or the same expression in maths. So if we look at the top here, I have x plus x, that would be equal to 2x or 2x squared over x, I could cancel that 1x with one of those, and that would also be 2x. So really these two here are identities because they're just different forms of the same rule. Now in trig, there are infinitely many trigonometric identities. The following two basic identities are very, very important as we use them to prove many, many other identities or expressions. It enables us to simplify uh, many complicated expressions. So the first one is this one here. Tan is equal to sine over cos. And our second one is sine squared plus cos squared is equal to 1. Now with this first one, tan is equal to sine over cos. We could also easily just change it to tan squared theta equal to sine squared theta over cos squared theta. And what have I done there? What I've essentially done is I've just squared both sides. And the identity number two over here, sine squared plus cos squared equals one. If I rearrange this, I could just say sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta, not so. This is my original identity, and I've just rearranged it to look like that. Now, these two identities are very important. They are like rules that you have to learn. It's not on your formula sheet, but we use them to prove many other things. In terms of why is this true, you can have a look. On this note, in your own time, the note will follow on iTunes U as to why these two identities are actually true. But we're not going to worry about that now. Mm. This is what I was saying earlier. We can also write the identity sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1 as this. I'm just rearranging the identity. Or is that? Where in the first one, I've just taken cos squared over. And in the second one, my original one, if it's original one, is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. If I want to end up with cos squared theta, I can take the sine squared theta across. It's just variations of my original identity. This means that we can replace sine squared with 1 minus cos squared, or cos squared with 1 minus sine squared. Now, I don't know if any of you looked at this here and you think, oh, that's just dots. That's just the difference of two squares. Because in trig, when we manipulate the different identities, we're going to be adding like terms, subtracting like terms. We're going to be looking at factorizing. You can also factorizing trig. So this would be dots, the difference of two squares. So, for instance, if I had 1 minus cos squared over here, equal to, that's just the difference of 1, which is a perfect square, and cos squared, which is a perfect square. So, that factorized would just be 1 minus cos theta, 1 plus cos theta. And similarly over here, this would also be the difference of two squares. So, 1 minus sine squared would become two different brackets, 1 minus sine theta, 1 plus sine theta. And we will look a little bit more at that tomorrow. But I want to move on now how we can use these two identities to simplify expressions or to prove that a left-hand side is equal to a right-hand side. So let's look at example one here. We have to prove that this left-hand side here, let's call that my left-hand side, LHS, is equal to my right hand side which is 2 times sine of theta. So I need to prove that my left hand side is equal to my right hand side. I'm going to get rid of that equals for now 
because I don't know that it's equal. I need to prove that it's equal and I need to prove it and I'm going to make use of my two identities. This we'll call identity one for now and this we'll call identity two and I'm going to make use of those two to prove both of these examples. So if I look at the first one, generally we always start with the longer of the two sides. Now if we compare this left hand side to the right hand side, which looks more complicated, always longer. Yeah, the left hand side. So we're going to start with the left hand side and the left hand side is cos theta times tan theta plus sin theta. Now, using my first identity, I can replace tan with sine theta over cos theta. Because I know from looking here that tan is equal to sine over cos. So tan is equal to sine over cos plus sine theta. I'm not going to put equal to there, no, 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 because I don't know that it's equal. I'm trying to prove that. So now if we look at this line here, you can see very clearly that something's going to cancel. There we go. This is all one term, so that can cancel. And that leaves me with sine theta plus sine theta. <clears throat> and I'm hoping you can recognize that these two are like terms. Sine theta plus sine theta gives me 1 of sine theta plus 1 of sine theta gives me 2 of sine theta which you'll notice is just exactly what I'm wanting that's my right hand side sorted number b so now if we look at number b I have to prove that my left hand side which is sine x times cos x times tan x plus cos squared x is equal to 1 my right hand side so once again, I'm going to start with my left hand side because it looks way longer than my right hand side. And I have a quick scan and I think, OK, well, the only identity I can use at the moment in this first line is the fact that tan x, so we're going to leave the rest, sin x times cos x times tan x I know can be replaced with sin over cos. Don't forget here this plus cos squared x. Now we can once again cancel my denominator with my numerator because this is all one term and I'm left with sine x times sine x. So sine times sine would be sine squared x plus cos squared x. Now I'm hoping that you can see very easily and quickly that sine squared plus cos squared is just equal to 1. So we're going to replace it with just 1. And then I've proved that, what I wanted to prove that, that whole long thing is equal to 1. And I've got it equal to 1. So it's equal to my right hand side. Sorted. Good, let's move on to another example. <clears throat> example 2. Now this one I'm going to do tomorrow. We're not going to worry about that one today. So I'm going to look at this one here. And once again, I'm starting with my left hand side. So we look and we think, what can I do? There's no tan, because remember my two identities, if I quickly just write them here. Tan is sine over cos and my other one, sine squared plus cos squared is equal to 1. Those are my two identities I've got. How can I use them? No tan. So this first one, chung chung, I can't even use. But the second one I can because I know that sine squared, remember if I rearrange it, is just going to be equal to 1 minus cos squared. All over 1 minus cos alpha. I don't know, uh, 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 don't write that. We don't know that it's equal. We are trying to prove that. <clears throat> so you'll notice all I've done here, let's use a different color, is I've taken this and I've replaced it with 1 minus cos squared alpha. I've replaced that with that. And I can do it because of this here. When I just rearrange sine squared x equals 1 minus cos squared x. So I've literally taken that identity and I've replaced it over here. 
So now let's keep going on with the blue here. And then I'm really hoping that you would spot, if you look carefully at my numerator, 1 minus cos squared. There's no tan, there's no like terms, but there is dots. I can factorize it. So this becomes 1 minus cos alpha, 1 plus cos alpha. And now we can cancel because all of this is, oopsie, all of this is one term. And I'm left with 1 plus cos alpha. Ding, ding, there it is. So we have proved that that is equal to my right hand side. Sorted. We'll do B tomorrow. So I'm going to work from this ex exact same note tomorrow. But what I want you to look at now is exercise 6. I can't remember what page it's on. Um, but you'll see it in your trig, general trig chapter. And I'd like you to do numbers 1, 2 and 3. Thanks, grade 11s.